My background uh, was as an alpine ski racer. And for years I spent uh, in the mountains, in the cold, uh, competing in these extreme environments. I started ski racing as a, as a young boy and we continually compete in environments that change. Uh, what's magical about this sport is that each day it presents a whole new set of conditions. The snow texture and hardness and uh, quality changes each day, as do the environmental conditions that you have to adapt to. So I think that's probably what underlies my interest in environmental physiology is uh, that variability uh, in the sport field, if you like, of alpine ski racing is one that's never the same. It changes every day. Our main focus is environmental physiology. We examine human physiological responses in extreme environments. We heat acclimated the, the Canadian men's field hockey for the 2008 Beijing Olympics. In those experiments, so we brought all the players into a hot, humid environment similar to that we were anticipating to see in Beijing, and they exercised in those environments to prepare the bodies uh, to compete in those hot, humid conditions. Thanks to the CFI, we're going to be able to build a climatic chamber that's going to extend the ranges of temperatures with which we'll be able to test. Uh, we'll be able to test from minus 50 degrees Celsius to plus 50 degrees Celsius. A normal human body temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius. Lower than about 30 degrees Celsius, we're starting to have severe incapacitation cognitively first, and then as we drop into the high 20s, uh, then we're at serious risk of uh, ventricular fibrillation and serious cardiac arrhythmias. The coldest I've ever been. Uh, I worked with uh, a, sh a researcher who was interested in extreme hypothermia uh, during some of my postdoctoral studies, and I believe my temperature was down to the low 30s, 33 or 34 degrees in some of the experiments. With the Winter Olympics, cold acclimation is an important element to uh, prepare individuals. A largely unexplored area in comparison to the heat acclimation area of physiology. In the Winter Olympics, also clothing, and uh, now we're looking to partner with different uh, companies who are developing technical apparel. So we've had preliminary discussions with Lululemon, with Mountain Equipment Co-op, with uh, Quantum Polytechnic University, who started up a technical apparel program this year. There, there are a few climatic chambers uh, dedicated to physiology research. Uh, in uh, British Columbia, of this size, there are no other chambers uh, that are available. This really opens up the doors in Western Canada for us to build on the successes uh, of the previous research that we've done and to partner with industry so as to help develop uh, technical apparel, to work with sports teams to help them to be competitive in the extreme environments in the different athletic venues around the world.